This time we're looking at exponents. Here the 4 is being squared. Now what that little 2 tells us is that there are 2 of the number 4. But they're going to be multiplied times each other. So this really just means 4 times 4. Which is of course going to be 16. Uh, again, all the 2 tells us is that there are 2 4's present. As long as you can remember to multiply your 2 4's, you're, you're going to be doing very well. If we change this from 4 to the second power into 4 to the third power, now we're going to have 4 times 4 times 4. All that little number tells us is how many of these 4's are lined out. So here we have 3. So 4 times 4 is 16. Now 16 times 4 is going to be 64. So 4 to the third power is 64. Just remember that the exponent just tells us how many of the base numbers are going to be multiplied times each other. Here are a few for you to practice with. If you need additional time, feel free to pause the video. The top one is 2 squared. So if you just remember this means 2 times 2, you'll get 4. 3 squared is 9. 5 squared is 25. 7 squared is 49. And 9 squared is 81. Most students find that when they've got their multiplication tables memorized, they pretty much have squares memorized too. And here are a few that are more than just squaring. The first one is 2 to the third power. The second one is 5 to the fourth power. And the last one is 7 to the third power. Just like last time, pause the video if you need more time. The top one, being 2 to the third power, just means 2 times 2 times 2. So for this one, you should get 8. The next one is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. There are four of them. You could just multiply straight across. 5 times 5 being 25, and 25 times 5 being 125, and then take 125 times 5 and end up getting 625. You could also break this down and do the first two. 5 times 5 to be 25, and do the second set, giving you another 25, and take these two numbers and multiply them so that it's 25 times 25. Both ways will get you to your final answer of 625. And our last one from this set is 7 to the third power. So we have 7 times 7 times 7. The first two 7's multiplied together give us 49. And if we do 49 times that last 7, we should end up getting 343. Once we've mastered squaring and exponents, it's time to move on to finding square roots. This is pretty much doing the exact opposite of squaring. What you're doing is seeing what number times itself will give you the number on the inside of the square root symbol. So if you've got your multiplication tables memorized, these will be pretty easy too. What number times itself equals 81? In this case, the answer is going to be 9, because 9 times 9 is 81. Here are three more for you to practice with. Pause the video if you need more time. The top one is asking for the square root of 49. So what number times itself equals 49? Well this one's going to be 7. The second one is the square root of 16. And 4 times 4 is 16, so its square root is 4. This last one may be a little bit trickier because most students don't memorize their multiplication tables up this high but the square root of 169 is going to be 13, because 13 times 13 equals 169. This next one has us doing an operation within the square root symbol before we actually find a square root. For some reason, this throws a lot of students off because they're not expecting it. But really, all you have to do is the operation within the square root symbol first. So we'll do 30 minus 5, and that'll get us 25. So this question is really just asking for the square root of 25, and we know that to be 5. Don't be thrown by this, just do the operation, and then whatever the answer is, take its square root. One last thing and we're pretty much done. Sometimes you'll have to find a square root, and it'll say that the answer lies between two numbers. 
So in this one, the square root of 52 lies between 6 and 7, or between 7 and 8, or between 8 and 9. The way I recommend solving this is taking your first set of numbers, 6 and 7. What is 6 squared? Well, that's 6 times 6, so that's 36. And 7 squared is 49. So does 52 lie within 36 and 49? No. So A would not be the correct answer. What are the square roots of 7 and 8? Those are 49 and 64. 52 does lie within this set of numbers, so your answer would be B. The square root of 52 lies somewhere between 7 and 